What's up YouTube, my name is That Other Otter, and in this video, I'll go over the secret notes that were added to Stardew Valley as part of the 1.3 beta update. If you want to skip around the video to find a specific note, there'll be timestamps in the description. But with that being said, let's get into the video. First off, what are secret notes and how do you find them? Secret notes are collectible items that either give you advice or a small quest. Before you can obtain any secret notes, you must first have the magnifying glass key item. You can find the magnifying glass by going to the bus stop during winter, in between 6 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. Once you are there, you'll see Krobus and he'll get scared and start running away from you. Follow him into the town and follow his footprints up near the playground and shake this bush. He will then fess up to stealing or taking this magnifying glass because it was so shiny or valuable and he'll give it over to you. Now you can actually find secret notes and there's several ways to do this. I found all of mine by mining and killing monsters as well as by digging up these little worm spots in the ground but apparently you can also get them from chopping trees and fishing. So now that you know how to obtain secret notes, let's go over the content that's actually in the secret notes. Secret notes 1 through 9 are all about characters loved items. Although the presentation of this information is interesting, it's not exactly new information because you could already find this on the wiki. That being said, I'd still encourage you guys to read these notes if you're interested, so I'll type them out and put them below the timestamps in the description. Okay, moving along, we have secret note number 10. It says that someone is waiting for you on level 100 in the Skull Cavern. If you go down to level 100 in the Skull Cavern, you'll find Mr. Chi, and he's waiting there with this little picnic he has arranged for you, and he tells you to drink this funny snake milk. Unlike real life, it isn't a scam, and you actually gain 25 health. That's pretty cool. Moving on to secret note number 11. This note's just a picture of Marnie and Jazz from the past. It seems like just a cool photo, but if any of you find anything about this, Please make sure to let me know and I'll include it in the comments or something. Secret note number 12 is just advice pertaining to foraging around in trash cans. It tells you where certain things can be found, and that's about it. Continuing along, we have secret note number 13. It tells you to check the bush above the playground at 12 o'clock on the last day of the season. If you follow the instructions, you should be rewarded with this big Junimo plush. That's pretty cool. Next up is secret note number 14. It says I hid something behind the community center. If you go to the east side of the community center, face towards it, and use your hoe, you should be able to dig up this stone Junimo statue. For secret note number 15, all it says is Mermaid Show 15423. If you go to the Mermaid Show and wait till it's over, and then click the shells in this order, you should be rewarded with the pearl. It can sell for 2,500 gold, or it can be given as a gift because it's loved by everybody that I tested, which is everybody that you can gift, so... It's loved by everybody. Unfortunately, you cannot use it in the Crystallarium, so my Crystallarium farm will still have to be using diamonds. Aww. Moving right along, secret note number 16 is a treasure map. If you go up to the railroad and go next to this boulder where it specifies and use your hoe, you should get a treasure chest. Unlike the pearl, this is a really bad gift because it's hated by everybody. However, it does sell for twice as much money, making 5,000 gold. Secret notes 17 and 18 are both treasure maps as well. If you follow the maps, one to this bench in Calico Desert, and one above Joja Mart, you should be able to find two different strange dolls. These dolls are useful to donate to the museum, but if you've already donated them, you can sell them for 1,000 gold each. Next up, we have secret note number 19. It tells you to start in front of Sam's house and then follow its directions until you can no longer move. You'll end up behind the mayor's house and you'll discover his plans for world domination and becoming god emperor. By that I mean he's created a golden statue of himself. What an egotistical maniac. Similar to secret note number 19, secret note number 20 has you following a set of directions, this time starting from the center of the town. Once you finish following the directions, you'll be next to this Joja Mart truck. Right click the truck to talk to the driver. The driver will offer you the special charm in exchange for a rabbit's foot. Do this trade and you'll end up with a special charm, an item that permanently increases your luck. Next up we have secret note number 21. It's simply this crude drawing of a clock at 12.40 and a bush next to the entrance to the beach. If you go there at 12.40 at night, you'll find Mayor Lewis and Marnie doing something. They're probably doing something gross, like holding hands. Would never want to see that. Secret note number 22 does not pertain to any of the new content in this update. It simply tells the player to start the mysterious Chi quest. The way you do this is by going to the bus stop, going to the left until you get to this tunnel, and putting a battery pack in the box. It's pretty simple. Finally, we have secret note number 23. It's written in broken English and it says, If you can read this, come to the secret woods. Please bring maple syrup. If you follow through with their request, you'll end up meeting this bear in the forest. 
he decides to be your friend because he brought him maple syrup, and he imparts with you this magical knowledge. So useful, I can't get over how useful this is. It makes salmon berries and blackberries sell for three times the money. Honestly, what was he doing? It's not very useful. It is a pretty key item, though, so there's that. Mmm, I don't know. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, that's great. See you in the next one. Thank you.